Hi there, it's Jeff of Buy New Customers, and welcome to another edition of Laugh and Learn with the Fearless Competitor. I was recently at the Primo Marketing Summit in Florida, and I had the opportunity to listen to Seth Godin. And I tell you, I love the way this guy talks. I mean, you want to stand up and just say, I'm in this. And he's got a new book out called Poke the Box. And one of the things I want to share this week is what Poke the Box is, but let's let Seth tell you in his own words, and I'll be right back. There's a, an economic emergency going on, and it's caused by the death of the industrial age and the beginning of a new revolution, a revolution about individuals standing up, doing work that matters, and making a difference. And Poke the Box is the first book I've ever seen that addresses the key foundational principle that's missing. And what's missing is initiative. What's missing are people, individuals, willing to stand up and say, I will do this. Willing to stand up and say, I am willing to fail. Willing to stand up and say, here is my art, take it if you like. And that's what we need right now, urgently. One of the reasons it's worth writing a book is because a book can be shared. You can create language that other people can use when they talk with one another. So one of the ideas I'm talking about in Poke the Box is if everyone in your organization, if everyone in your department understands what's on the agenda, if you have a shared text that you can come back to, it gives you cover. You can say, well, here's my idea, but don't blame me. It's Seth Godin's fault. And the more people in your team, the more people in your support group, the more people in your book group, the more people in your bridge club who have read this and have talked about it, the easier it's going to be for groups of folks to show up and make a difference. I think from the age of five, we're sort of trained not to poke. We're sort of trained not to push the envelope because we discover that if we do that, we might get punished, we might get pushed back. And so very few people, I don't even think Steve Jobs wakes up in the morning every day ready to launch something that some people aren't going to like, ready to stand up for an idea that might not match the status quo. I know it's something I wrestle with all the time. And the answer is to reassure yourself. The answer is to feed yourself a steady diet of reassuring, inspirational, insightful work that maybe, just maybe, helps you find the guts to do the work you know you need to do. Several forces are coming together all at the same time. Amazon has demonstrated that it can reach tens of millions of people, people who like to read books. It can reach them with information they're interested in, information about what they've already demonstrated in interest. At the same time, the Kindle, ebook readers, the idea that you can read things on the web is really coming into its own. More people than ever are choosing to read things electronically. When you combine those two things and you look at this as a platform for launching new ideas, the Domino Project is stepping in right as the book publishing industry is struggling harder than it's ever struggled before. And we think that bringing all those forces together will open the door for new ideas to reach more people and make a difference. So you have just heard Seth talk about the importance of individuals today, not companies, but individuals standing up and saying, I am going to make a difference. I am going to make this happen. Uh, it's up to me. I, I'm the champion. I'm going to make it happen. And I really love this because this is what we're trying to do at Find New Customers. I'm known as the fearless competitor, and I'm passionate about revolutionizing the world of marketing and social media, and interconnecting people. And it's just, you know, it, I realize there's no one that can get this done better than I can. And that's why I really appreciate you watching this video and joining our intrepid band, Trying to Change the World. So are you just trying to do a little bit, or do you want to help me change the world?